Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to CPU mine Kryptonite GPU, or in other words, the Conceal or CCX coin. And normally, you're not able to CPU mine this. If you read anywhere online, they say it's impossible or you're not able to, considering the algorithm is Kryptonite GPU, as you see here. But I found a way that you can CPU mine it. It may not be the most profitable, but if the CPU is all you got, this is a way to actually mine conceal with your CPU. So I'll be showing you how to do that today. Now the screen may look a little bit different here. It's because I'm using a VPS, which is a virtual private server. So it's not a computer that is actually running in my home. It's a computer that's running over on the other side of the world. And I virtually connect to it and I can mine on it so that way I'm not using any power myself from my home or anything. So if that's something you're interested in, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go buy yourself a VPS. It's just a monthly fee of like $20 and you're able to CPU mine or uh, yeah, mainly just CPU since there's no GPU. It's not the most profitable like I said, but if it's something that gets you actually mining or even just learning because of power consumption at your personal home this is the way to do it and like i said with this algorithm too kryptonite gpu uh the cpu mining might not be as profitable no matter if you're doing it out at home or even on a virtual server like myself so just keep that in mind because it is meant for gpus so you're competing with gpus and you just having a CPU obviously is a little bit weaker. Even if you have a few of them running, the GPU is always going to be dominant. And if the algorithm is like programmed for GPUs, it's going to be more favorable for the GPUs than the CPU. But to get started here, I'm just going to close down my mining software here. And that's just going to close it here. And then what we're going to do is just open up my downloads and I'm just going to show you which miner I use. So for this one, this is the only miner that will work for using CPU mining on Kryptonite GPU, which is SRB miner dash multi. Make sure when you do download it, it has a dash multi. It doesn't really matter what version. This is just the most recent one. But make sure, like I said, it's SRB miner dash multi because the multi allows you to do GPU and CPU. And then you can just program it in the uh, batch file, like the startup command to only run in CPU and that's what we'll be doing today. So I'll post a link in the description where you can download SRB Miner, it'll be right from their website. And once you have it downloaded, you might have to add it as an exclusion as usual. So all you would do is go to your start menu and then you click the little uh, settings gear here. And then you wanna go down to update and security. And then you wanna go down to Windows security. And then once you're there, you want to click virus and threat protection. I just have mine turned off because it's a virtual server anyways, so I'm not too concerned. And then you want to click uh, manage settings under virus and threat protection settings. And then you scroll down and you'll see exclusions right here. And this will be the same for your normal PC as well if you're on Windows. You click add or remove exclusions. And then you click add an exclusion and then you'll add that folder into there. So if you click add folder, it'll come up here. You go to downloads and then SRB multi and then SRB multi and then you just select folder just like that and that will put it into exclusion so it doesn't get picked up by your firewall. I believe even SRB might be a signed miner so you might not have to do this. It just depends if your PC picks it up as a virus or not. So once you do have it all downloaded, extracted and added as an exclusion if you needed to. You'll have this subfolder after you open it with SRB-multi and then whatever version. I'm using 0.9.7. And then you want to double click into that. And this will open up a bunch of command files and different folders and such. It may look pretty overwhelming. But these are just all different algorithms and coins that you can use. But the one we're going to focus on is not too far. Oops, close that. It's not too far from the top here. It's the conceal one. So it's about one two, three, four, five down from the actual like SRB miner itself. So once you have the start mining dash conceal, you want to right click and edit and it's going to open up and it may look different for you because it's going to be set for like GPU mining and such. But what you want to do is I'll post this in the description. You want to copy this command line exactly how I have it. And that's going to allow it so you can CPU mine as you see. 
you have the disabled GPU and the algorithm is Kryptonite GPU. And for whatever reason, SRB just allows you to go ahead and CPU mine this when you're technically not supposed to be able to CPU mine a GPU uh, algorithm because Conceal and Kryptonite and everything was specifically made just for GPUs, as I've mentioned before. And then after that is going to be your pool. So this is just going to really depend on your location. I currently use Hero Miners and I use the Canadian one. And then, like I said, that just depends on your location. So if I open it up here, you're going to come to this website, conceal.herominers.com. And this is a pool I use and you get direct mining for conceal. And what you want to do is click the start button at the top here. And it's going to give you all these different locations. And like I said, I use a Canadian one, just depending where your location is. You just highlight that. And then, for example, like I said, I'm using a Canadian one. And then you just copy it. And then you go to your server or your computer and you just paste that in right before the port number there. So even though I already have it, just to show you guys, you click paste and it'll paste in right there. And then all the port numbers are going to be the same for every single one. So your port number is going to be the 1115 and you copy that. And then you want to come back to your server or computer and then you just paste it after the two colons. So and then you have your pool address and then colon and then the 1115. And after that, it's going to be your wallet address. Now the conceal wallet is a little bit bigger than most wallets as you see, like just the actual like wallet address itself. And what you can do, I've shown it in my how to mine conceal with like GPUs and such, is you want to download the conceal app. I have it up top here as you can see my mouse is over top of it. And once you have that downloaded, I'm just not going to show that in this video just to save some time. Once you do have that downloaded, you will be able to have your wallet and then your deposit address and then you copy that address and you paste it after wallet here. So just like mine, it's a big long address like I said, but it's just for like the security and anonymous part of it. It's a really good coin like I've said, I've said it in my other video too. I'm really behind these guys with this project. Then afterwards, you're going to have the password, and that's going to be your worker name. So for mine, I put CPU server, since I'm mining off just a CPU server. So it's pretty straightforward. Like I said, I'll post this down in the description below. But like I said, the main thing is just having your pool the closest to the location that you are at, and then your wallet address. You can use the Conceal app, which is what I recommend, because you can store the uh, coins there and then actually put them away and gain interest. You could try to find like an exchange wallet or an online wallet, but I don't know if Conceal is that big yet where they have any of those. So I personally just recommend going on the Conceal website and getting their app or a wallet as they would call it. So once you have all that pasted and you have everything else removed, because like I said, normally you would have it. So let's just open up another one here. I'll just see if we have another like GPU type. I believe ergo is yeah just like this so you're gonna have all this random junk it's gonna be the same as your conceal you're gonna have all this random stuff above it all you're gonna want to do is just remove it remove it and then paste the one in the description that I did so you're gonna paste that into like your the conceal uh, command prompt here so you're gonna have like all this space with all this jibber jabber here and everything and all like the GPU settings and such you're just going to want to remove that like I just showed you. And then you're just going to paste this with your pool address and obviously your conceal wallet address. And then once that's all done, you click File, Save. And then you want to double click on the Start Mining Dash Conceal. And that might take a minute because like I said, technically it's not meant for CPUs. So it might take you a few minutes or even longer to get an actual share accepted and actually get working into the algorithm because you are competing against GPUs. So I'll just leave it here. As you see, it shows my CPU and how many threads and cores I'm using. So I'll just pause it here until we get a few uh, shares accepted. So as you see, it took a few minutes. It started at around 11.04 and it's 11.09. And we finally got our first accepted share here. Like I said, just it really depends on your CPU and your connection to the pool. 
I just recommend using Hero Miners because it's one of the main pools for conceal. And I found it's like one of the lower payouts as well. So even if you do have like a server type miner like myself here, you still get some payouts here and there. But once you do have an accepted like result, or if you have a few of them by now, because like I said, it all just depends on your CPU. You want to go over to the website we are at, conceal.herominers.com. And you want to make sure you have your address copied. And what you want to do is click home. And once you're on the home page, you scroll down a bit and you can paste your wallet address here. I already have mine pasted. And then it's going to give you your current hash rate. Mine says 17, but sometimes it takes a few uh, shares to be accepted for it to actually update. As you see, mine bounces between 35 and 34. And then sometimes uh, it goes up to 36, 38. So as you get more accepted shares, it will balance out. As you see, it's now up to 33. And then it's going to give you all your different hour hash rates and then your last share submitted and such. And then it's going to have your unconfirmed balance and your pending balance. And then if you scroll down a little bit more, it's going to tell you how much you make daily, weekly, and monthly. And this will all fluctuate depending on the crypto market. And like I said, once your hash rate does settle down and obviously for mine, it's nothing crazy. Like the hash rate is pretty low. And like I said, you're competing with GPUs. So it's not going to be the most profitable way to CPU mine on this uh, GPU algorithm. But I just figured since everyone said most people say online that you can't CPU mine conceal. I figured why not dig into it a little bit more and see if you can. And you're actually able to. But like I said, the profits aren't just insane or anything like that. So after a little bit of time of mining, you will see your daily, weekly, and monthly fluctuate so as you see mine has all different like one day average seven day 30 day so depending how long you run it and everything will tell you like give you your solid averages if you scroll down a bit you'll see your worker name so that's like after your password what you set it as your hash rate and everything your shares your accepted your declined and these are your recent block rewards so what you're awarded per block that's found depending on the effort and work that you do so if you have like a bunch of CPUs and a bunch of high-end CPUs, it may benefit you in the end. But just like with most cryptos right now, everything is kind of down in the slump. So nothing's really profitable too much. Even running uh, graphics cards and such, you end up with a little less profit because of hydro rates and such, depending where you are. And if you scroll down just a little bit more, it's going to give you your most recent payout. And mine was on the 30th and that was, yeah, uh, that was just last month. So it is right now July 2nd and that was June 30th. So it does take a little bit of time depending on your, like I said, CPU and such. And it's just not going to be as profitable. And I'm doing mine through a virtual server. Even though it is a real computer, it's just not meant for direct mining like this. Normally on virtual servers, you're not able to actually mine like I'm doing here. It's just this company has allowed it for whatever reason. I've been doing it for a few months now with different coins. Like I've done it with Avian. Uh, Avian. I've done it with uh, this one here, Kryptonite GPU, which is Conceal. I've done a few other algorithms like Yes Power, Yes Script, and a few others and converted those to like Doge. But I'm just trying to find a couple direct coins to actually mine, which I have, which is Conceal. And then if this ever has issues or if it's just not running to my like best ability I switch over to Avon because Avon is a pretty good profitable coin in my opinion I've made a t uh, tutorial on that and that's good for CPUs and GPUs as well but like I said this one's just for conceal and it's just to get you CPU mining even though it's not the most profitable but overall I hope this video helped you guys and like I said most people said this couldn't be done so I just wanted to kind of prove you guys wrong online that were saying it not like my subscribers or anything but people on Reddit, people on forums, people on mining and all this. Just because it's not profitable doesn't mean it's not something fun to do. So like I said, I'm paying like 20 bucks a month for this server. That's really not too much for me in my like circumstance. Because if you're working and doing other things and just making an income, you just throw 20 bucks aside each month. And it gives you the ability to gain knowledge on mining and actually continue to mine without using your home power or worry about your electricity bill or someone getting mad at you because you're mining or heating up your room and things like that. But I tried to make this short and sweet so hopefully this all helped you guys and if you did enjoy make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you're enjoying my tutorials 
and you're enjoying these type of videos that I am making. But I hope you all have an amazing day, and this is Crabsy Crypto signing out.